Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'd like to share with you a little about my story and how I received such a blessing in my life. This chapter of my story begins with referencing, referencing a very pivotal moment in my life. Eleven, about 11 years ago, I had brain surgery. Since then, I suffered from severe anxiety. Can I say depression? No, I can't. Yeah. Well, anxiety and depression are, are two of the same things, and that's what I'm going to check on. I think you can say that because that's what you experienced before. Yeah. You don't need to currently reference it. Okay. Which often leaves me at home, most likely in bed, with all the different medications I have to take to help me, leaves me feeling like a zombie, dragging, constantly gaining weight. Trying to by trying to eat to get energy or just sleeping all day. Well, over the years, I've gained over a hefty 60 pounds, which was a lot for me. This did not help my confidence. I want to share with you how I started a personal achievement of taking back my life. In March, I met Stephanie, the sweetest soul ever, at an event my daughter was dancing at. Stephanie had a booth offering samples and information on this amazing product. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. Well, Stephanie, let's make that screen smaller because they can't see it. Sorry. No worries. Well, Stephanie believed in me more than I believed in myself. This is me the day before I started. Don't I look so happy with my body? Boy, did my mood suck and my self-esteem was non-existent. I could not believe the energy I was gaining. Huh, why is that not flowing? Oh, because that picture is going to stay up while I'm reading everything else. Right. And it'll flow. Okay, so I'm not even going to say the stuff on, that's on that screen with the picture. Okay. I'm going to read it because I'm talking a lot. Okay, I could, I could not believe the energy I was gaining every day. Remember I said how I would nap all day long? Well, in the first week, I would try to force myself to nap, but my body and mind said, no way, not today. You have too much energy. Get up and do something. So I cleaned my entire place and even did 30 seconds of planking. Watch out, world. This is real. 16 weeks into the program, I gave in. I just didn't know what to do with all my energy. So I joined the gym. Now miracles were happening. This one would just stay up there. Oh, can I say yeah, you're fine. Okay. Or maybe I do have to see. I could just say these. Six oh, I didn't see that down 24 pounds. Yeah. I didn't see that. Uh, a few months. I would just say a few months. into the program and they check me say it all. I'm happy and feel alive again. Yeah. I remember this day like it was yesterday. The first time I put on a pair of jeans and they were too big for me. This just encouraged me even more. I started going to the gym at my place every day. First I could walk only a mile, but I kept my focus on my goals, which were walking two miles getting a bikini body by summer, and confidence and energy filled with happiness. Yep, achieved that, and could not have done it without changing my lifestyle, starting with my mindset through personal coaching and following the meal plan. That'll stay up for a long time, which is disgusting. As you look at my progress collage, the person on the top left is in denial, swollen, sad, depressed, eating, my, eating emotions insecure, tired, no interest in things I love to do. Oh, I'll take out that. Where did that double chin come from? You know, while you're there, 
-hmm. on that screen. Let's just take out depressed because yeah. the rest of that is great. They'll understand. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Person in the top middle hides behind objects um, or people forced when forced to take a picture. Person on the top right is less than a couple months into the ice journey journey into my ice journey and lost 19 pounds. A couple months is fine, right? Yeah. And 10 of those must have been in my face. I'm now confident at taking selfies. Oh yeah, we just went over that one. Person on the bottom left, day before starting ISO. This is never gonna work. I don't even want to smile. Why am I doing this? Putting myself out there. I was so sad. But go ahead, take out depressed again. Yeah. Eating emotions. Insecure, tired, and no interest in things I loved. Person on the bottom. In a, less than a couple months? Is that what we changed it to? Yeah, I think you're okay, because as long as you don't say both. Okay. Six weeks into my eyes. Oh, yeah, because I'm just talking about the picture. Right. Seeing results, feeling excited, believing in me, doing things I love, being super creative and feeling confident, putting myself out there to meet people, and most importantly, person on the bottom right, my motivation, my health and fit fitness goal. This is me after three kids, not even realizing how I looked. I will be this person again, super confident, super fun, super outgoing, and just plain super. I already am. <laughs> and this is me today. Can I change my other arm? In a few months, I released 39 pounds. I cut down on some products, went on vacation, had my granddaughter, and still lost another five pounds. Today, I've released 44 pounds and 18 inches. I am down from a size 14 to a size 9 or 10 and even a size eight in some brands. I feel awesome with my new confidence and energy and I'm clear-minded. I'm looking, I'm finally back to work. I'm getting out of the house and I'm coming, committing to events, which I did not do before. I can't tell you enough how much this program has changed my life. And with Stephanie's persistence and supporting and caring support, it was so easy to do. Do I say like something like Isa has many products or now I'd like to tell you about my favorite product? Yeah, just your favorite product. Um, my favorite product are the Isoline bars. Holy moly, these bars are amazing. Perfect. Do you sometimes just crave a Snickers bar or your favorite go-to snack? I do. And that's when I grab a chocolate peanut bar. They are great tasting, nutritious, and... You can have them on the go. I always keep one in my purse as Isoline bars are meal replacements that satisfy hunger. They're so good that my teenager loves them. And that's an endorsement. <laughs> and I endorse this message. <laughs> my tip, uh, my non isa tip for success would be to get organized and stay organized. I always do, I always go to bed knowing what I'm eating the next day. It eliminates temptation for bad food choices. To keep it simple, I went to the dollar store and got a couple cute little containers to portion out my servings. I got all the water out for the day, whether they were bottles or in the little dispenser. If you get bored with plain water, you can always add fruits to flavor it. You can see your process. I, well, I can explain it better when I'm actually doing it, but as all as your products are on the counter, you can see your progress throughout the day and make sure you fin finish all of your water. I put my non-perishable snacks, my favorite is almonds, portioned out in a tiny container. I finish it and I know I don't need any more. I also put my allowable servings, my allowable servings of my favorite ISO snacks. Big key, if you're at home, designate your area of the kitchen that you can place your food in. Let all the members of the household know that this is your area and you can only eat what's in that area. 
at the end of the day, your area should be empty and you should be completely satisfied. Now you prep for the next day. Perfect, Jackie. This is absolutely fantastic. And we've had a lot of cancellations for um, other presenters for tonight. And I'm not worried about it because your presentation is, is so ideal um, and so perfect that if we just focus on that and my outline, um, one other presenter would be great. Um, this is going to excite people. Yeah. You're really going to, here, let me stop recording. Um, yeah, I'm up here, but you're, you're really going to help so many different people and excite them. And because right now there's a lot of nervousness and especially in our world, there's a lot of nervousness and skepticism in regards to spending the money. And you could even mention that, that you were nervous about spending the money. Um, but look where you are today. And you wouldn't trade that for the world. And this was coming from someone who had no income coming in. Yep. Tried to use my EBT card. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I tried to even illegally lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> um, so I, I thank you for this. And I really want you to, and I'm still recording this for a purpose, but um, I, I really want you to grasp this, and I think you have, um, because your story can make such a difference. And, and you're one of those stories that people need to hear. Okay. Okay? Really take this in, Jackie. And I think when you do it tonight, you're really going to feel it. Um, you may get pretty emotional tonight. Who knows? <laughs> um, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine if you do. Um, but... We'll start sharing this with people again. You can't share your whole story verbal, verbally because people will get bored, you know, because it's all about them. Yeah. Um, but that's why you having this on video. So it might even be something where actually what you could do right now <clears throat> with your own Zoom, they give you a number if you schedule a meeting or if you just join a call, they give you your own number. When you're practicing this, go ahead and record it for yourself. Okay. And then take one of those takes that's just you. Okay. So that you can send that out to your friends and family too. You're going to want to send out our whole thing, but there's going to be times where you don't want to send the whole thing to your friends and family. Okay. You're just going to want to do your story, your seven-minute story versus our 30-minute call. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Are you with me? Because I'm going to talk about how to do the program, what week they're in, and, and go into fine details. For some of your people, your potentials, you don't want to send them all that. Yeah, yeah. So while you're in the mood and while you're ready and excited, I would go ahead and record it. Perfect. Right after I take my pictures. Right? <laughs> right. Okay, I'll stop recording for you now.